Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel to work with the standard normal distribution or the normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is often shown with the cumulative density function which its formula is shown here in green. Make it a little bit bigger. And the important bit about this is that it's actually about the area under this blue curve. So this blue curve is the normal uh, distribution probability density function. Uh, but the probabilities that we're often after are uh, the area underneath the curve. So if I, for example, a Z value of 0 0.3, so here 0 0.3, and I like to calculate the cumulative distribution function of this standard normal distribution, uh, a standard normal distribution is a normal distribution where the mean equals 0 and the standard deviation equals 1. You can either use the norm.s.dist function, uh, which is the newer version, uh, select the z value and set cumulative to true, and then it will calculate the area for you. You can also use the older norm.s.dist and use the z value and get the same result. Now, if you just want the height of this, you can use the same thing, but then actually use false. It's also possible to reverse this, so given the probability, calculate the z-value, and for that you can use norm s from standard inverse, inv. Uh, in this case, I'm using that uh, cumulative density uh, result, and that should therefore give me the 0.3. You can also use the older version, and again, use then a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of a 1, and it will give you also that result. If you're interested in the upper tail, you can simply use a 1 minus the result of the lower tail, because the specific value for actually the area underneath the curve for a single uh, value is actually 0. So it doesn't matter if it's inclusive or exclusive, uh, it's always going to be 1 minus. Now, if you have a normal distribution, you have an x value, you have the mean and the standard deviation. You could then use the norm dist function and then select the mean, separate the parameters with a semicolon or a comma depending on your system settings, the standard deviation uh, and, uh, sorry, the mean and the standard deviation, and again, cumulative set to true. You can also use the older version of norm uh, dist. For the probability density function, you can use norm dot dist, and again give it the x, the mean, and the standard deviation. And the same for norm dist. In both situations, then just use cumulative as false. The inverse is uh, simply, in this case, again norm inverse, the probability the mean and the standard deviation and that should give us that 6.3 again. So if we use this we simply get 6.3. You could of course also use the older norm inf. If you want you can actually convert a normal distribution to a standard normal by simply subtracting x from uh, doing x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. These are also sometimes referred to as z-scores. It actually tells you how many standard deviations your result was away from the, um, from the average. So in this case I can say well that's going to be d28, that's my x-value, minus my average divided by my standard deviation. And you can also do it the other way around. If you manipulate this formula, you can say, well, it's going to be my uh, average plus the z value times the standard deviation, and you get your original x value again. So that's how you can kind of work with the standard normal distribution. Notice that at a z value of 0, the cumulative density function is exactly a half. So that's why you can sometimes mirror results. Or if you want something in between, you can perhaps sometimes just subtract um, a half. So just think about the area that you're calculating and see if you can actually use one of these formulas to make it work. Now, if you want, um, if you don't want to use uh, the function that's provided by Excel, you could of course use any of the many approximations that exist. 
in this spreadsheet I'll leave a link to my website where you can download this spreadsheet I've actually gone over quite a lot of them about uh, more than 60 in total in the end so yeah as you can see there are quite a lot and many of them are uh, the orange ones I actually created a, a user defined function so a macro for it and you can find more details of each in its corresponding category so for example here we have the computer algorithms there's not much to tell about those but for the error functions for example you can actually see the formulas and see how it's actually being uh, calculated there are two that I actually would like to show you um, under sets uh, the easiest one is I think by Shaw uh, it doesn't actually, it was made for if you don't have a computer and just need a rough estimate. And although this looks very scary, if I zoom in a little bit you can see it better. Uh, there's no exponentials, there's no pi, there's basic multiplication and division. And he simply says, well, if your z-value is below 2.2, you just do z times 4.4 minus z, over, divided over uh, by 10, and you add a half. If it's between 2.2 and 2.6, it's 0 0.99, and if it's greater, it's simply 1. And this is a very rough estimate, but it's, I think, the simplest of all of the calculations. Um, you will notice if you go over all these approximations that many look a bit the same. There's one that I thought looked completely different. Don't worry about all of this. Um, and I didn't want to deprive you of that one which is actually this one as you can see it's just uh, 2 to the power of to the power of to the power of and it looks nothing like any of the other ones but that's just a short uh, sidestep so um, if you want it easy just use the Excel formula and otherwise you can pick any of the ones that are in this spreadsheet I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching